What's good? This is Master Ace from Brooklyn, New York. Here with my peoples at Breaking Records Radio. Real hip hop will live forever. What's up? This is Demrix. Jamie Madge Rock. Man, this is your man's Obi Trice. This is Adlin. Yo, what up? This is Specs One. This is Fresh K. Hot Rock's the motherfucking Scrat MC. Breaking Records. Breaking Records Radio out here. This is Breaking Records Radio. Check them out. That's insane, man. Was Shan, was Shan there too? Shan was there that first yeah. day. Craig G was there that first day. Shan actually was my. Molly put me in the in the in the in the what he called the pre-production room, which was just a smaller bedroom. Yeah. He put me in there with Shan and had Shan like doing drum programming or something. Um, you know that I found out years later that Shan was like, oh, I, I didn't know what I was doing. If he put, if he put you back there with me, that meant that he was just like trying to get your your your, your studio hours for your contest out the way. Yeah. So that was his way of kind of like burning up hours. And he had me in the back room, bedroom. I didn't know. I didn't know anything about equipment. I guess Shan didn't know either. But we were back there fooling around. And eventually, he heard me rap. And then I guess from hearing me rap, he decided, you know, this kid's actually okay. I'm gonna keep him, keep, keep him coming back. Yeah. So after my six hours was up, I kept coming back. Oh word, eh? Yeah. So like, did he hear you that day in the booth, or like he like heard the know, records but, after and was like, oh shit, like, like that's we, nice. We eventually laid a couple of demos down. Yeah. Um, and I guess from hearing those. You know, he liked what he heard, and and he decided to have me keep, you know, coming back and and and, and laying down joints because I laid down a few demos before we got to the Marlon Marlin Control album a year later. Okay, so none of those demos ended up being your records on in Control then. No. Okay, okay. And so Shan, what he was doing the program and producing the records yeah, for you. He, he told me like recently, he's like, I, if he put you in there with me, then he didn't he didn't care nothing about what you was doing. He just wanted to get you out the way. <laughs> You know what? I, I just interviewed Shan actually, uh, what, Thursday on the phone. Okay. Had a great hour long conversation with him. We've been meaning getting him for time. But one thing I love about Shan is just his brutal honesty. Oh, it's brutal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like absolute brutal yeah. honesty. Yeah. Like yeah. he had no fear holding his tongue. Like he just he just says what he's feeling, how yeah. he's feeling it. And, yeah. But it's crazy to think too, like he's be he's there just fucking around with equipment, not knowing what he's doing. And then he goes on to produce a former for Snow how many years later, which right. is. He just just got picked up by the Doritos commercial. Just got picked yeah. up by what Daddy Yankee as well. Like yeah, it's I heard like about that. yeah, it's, it's insane. Like you know, it worked out well for him in the end. You know what I mean? Yeah, to be back there just hitting them knobs and switches. That's that's crazy. And then so uh, obviously you went out to uh, join the Juice Crew and stuff. The infamous verse on uh, Symphony, which we kept, we talked about when I interviewed you last, and I'm sure you've talked about a million times mm -hmm. that that record being made. So we won't even touch that. But um. With uh, the Take a Look Around album, Mr. C did a lot of production on there as well as Marley, right? Yeah, he got he did three. He got credit for four, but he did he did three. Oh, okay, yeah. word. And um, well, question. I, you don't have to answer if you don't want. But was it, was there any production you handled in that phase where you didn't get credit for it? Well, I, if you look at the album on Take a Look Around, it says co-produced by me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I got co-production for the entire album. Because yeah. Because I really did have a hand in almost every track and bringing the samples there and stuff bringing, and i just didn't know how to work the equipment but i was walking in with records from my mom's collection saying i want to sample i want to rap over this piece yeah you know and you know marley would obviously put his magic on it and drum program it and make it sound dope and then i would rap over it oh. yo what's up it's your man mlny maloney breaking records breaking records radio you know what it is i'm just here to tell you guys right now that you want to if any of my smokers out there basically any of my canadian smokers now that it's legal, what you got to do is you got to head over to thccollection.com and check them out. And make sure you use the promo code HIPHOP. That's H-I-P-H-O-P. -P, and that's all capital letters. Save 10% on every purchase that you make anytime. They got everything. They got deals every single day of the week, which include like free whatever with whatever you buy. And uh, my favorite is Tulip Tuesday. You can get $100 ounces. And that's only on Tuesdays. And you save 10% on every purchase with the promo code HIPHOP, all caps. That's H-I-P-H-O-P. -H so make sure you go over there. Check them out. That's THCCollection.com for all your good medical needs, for all your good gr greenery, your extracts, and all that good stuff.